Hey everybody, I'm in a place that you don't often think about wine, or at least you don't often think about wine if you're used to talking about BC. We're in Abbotsford, actually we're in Mount Lehman, which was founded in 1864, but where it's now, uh, now Abbotsford. And I'm sitting here with Andrew, uh, the man who started Singletree Winery here. And uh, I guess the answer is, is that what do you do when you got 67 acres and uh, the rest of the property is, uh, is raised in turkeys? What do you do? You grow grapes. Of course. So, uh, Andrew, thanks for having me here. You're welcome. And uh, so tell everyone a little bit of the story about Singletree. So Singletree, uh, we decided uh, about 2000 we bought the property. My brother wanted to farm turkeys. Or we were a turkey farming family. Yeah. Had this acreage and decided, uh, you know, we've got to do something else. If, if all three family members wanted to stay on the farm, to be able to survive, we had to, to start growing something with the land. So. Awesome. So one does one does the turkey for Christmas dinner, and one does the wine that goes with it. Exactly. Awesome. So now, uh, so you started planting in 2010. 2010. You've got 12 acres planted so far. Yes. And uh, um, so we've got three wines that we're going to try today here. Uh, these are all estate grown. Oh, sorry. The, the two whites are estate grown, yes. and uh, the red is actually uh, contracted grapes from the Okanagan. Yes. But uh, why don't we start with your first, uh, your first white? All right. So the first white is uh, the farmhand white. It's a Pinot Gris Sauvignon Blanc blend, and uh, it's actually a field blend. In 2013, we didn't have enough Pinot Gris or Sauv to do a standalone, so we just put them all in a bin together and pressed them all and made this. I gotta say that is a really that's a very easy drinking wine. It is. That's a, that's quite nice. Uh, so that's the 2013 Farmhand White. And then beside that, we have the 2013 uh, Cigarebe. Yes. Am I saying that right? You are. Okay, that's a tough one. It's a, it's a German grape, correct? It is a German grape. Okay, so, and uh, what am I gonna be tasting here? So this is our off dry white. It's very aromatic, really nice on a hot day. Um, we, uh, we like it actually with spicy food as well. I was just gonna say, I could, I could see you enjoying this with Indian, uh, some curries, some Thai cuisine or uh, some really good uh, Chinese. Yeah. Mm, delish. Okay, so what are some of the. So we got. Yeah. I think you'll delicious. find uh, that there's. Uh, the really unique part of this is that it has a lot of lychee flavor to it, which is kind of like a Gewurz, very similar. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Really like this one. So, um, great. Now, this is actually the, the grape that you have planted the most here on the property, correct? Yes, it grows the best down here in the valley. It's an early ripener. We always get a crop where the bricks are right where we want it. And, uh, we just found that it's it's a great one to grow down here in the valley. Awesome, and I know that uh, your yield might be a little low because we didn't have a lot of water this summer, but I got a feeling this is going to be a pretty uh, pretty standout wine this year. It will. Awesome, and so last but not least, we've got the Pinot Noir. The Pinot Noir, and which you're getting the, uh, this vintage, your grapes are coming from. Uh, this year, it'll be coming from Naramata. Naramata Bench. Okay, so let's uh, give the 2013 Pinot Noir a try. Oh. I love a good Pinot Noir. So uh, talk to us a little bit about what uh, what you've done with yours. So the Pinot Noir is a, a lighter West Coast style. It's very fruit forward with raspberries and strawberries. Mm, a little bit of earthiness as well to it. It is uh, really good with cheeses and crackers, sandwiches. It's not a big meat and potatoes red, nor yeah. should Pinots be, but uh, awesome. we really like it. Uh, another nice picnic style red wine. Fantastic. Uh, Andrew, price point on the wines, you range between? 20 and 22. So uh, the Zigariba is 22 and the other two are 20 bucks. Fantastic. And uh, and like I said, about under an hour from downtown Vancouver to uh, to Singletree Winery here in Abbotsford. Uh, fantastic. And uh, don't take the back roads. I took the back roads. Just take the Mount Lehman exit and then just drive straight here. Straight north. Straight north. Fantastic. So uh, you got to come down to Abbotsford and uh, check out Singletree. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.